G'day everybody and welcome back for some more Underground Alone and Nev has done an update to the Twitch integration so now when you guys manage to tie any of the uh, poll results it should do both I believe all three or all four if you manage to do that much so good luck trying to tie all of the votes all stream because I see that as being the only thing that's possibly going to happen. <laughs> I, I can see uh, four spawns or events happening basically every single time there's a poll now. Uh, <laughs> but I thought before that happens, I might try and clear up some of the markers that are around because there are a lot. And I don't have any bad guys out there. Except for the one base. But there are a lot of chat emotional support thing so let's just see if I can clear that up and then my next job since well, it's also daylight is get these turrets up and functional again and see if I can expand my network of turrets up on the surface because I would like to get some more uh, so, <laughs> yeah uh, th thanks so much test unit for 16 months thanks Reaper Gaming for the prime sub thank you Arg. That was inconvenient while I was in the middle of reading chat. Oh! That took a lot of damage on landing, too. Um, I might just go grab that one, because I think it still has some useful stuff left, maybe? <laughs> took out the remote and the beacon. <laughs> Thank you, Orsa, for your... Oh! All threes. Tier three for 33 months. Thanks so much. <laughs> Especially the tier 3 thing. That's nuts. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, yes, maybe... Maybe I'm a little bit uh, masochistic telling you guys straight out, out of the gates that um, you can match the polls, but, you know, where's the fun? If I don't tell you, you discover it later. Oh, explosives, nice. Okay, next one. Clear all these out. I don't know why I grabbed it like TFE does then. I think it's rubbing off on me. Hmm. I wonder if I could time this week coming to uh, update these drops so that they're a bit smaller. So I haven't done any major changes to the. Oh, uh, organic. I haven't done any major changes to the. to the drops this week um, as I was quite happy with how things played out last time got a little bit of a defense set up then got my defenses destroyed so I felt like that was a fair balance just mainly want to get rid of these beacons inventory full oh these bits inside, anything coming down? Oh, lucky dip. Okay, I need to keep an eye on my HUD. Uh, can I get any bits that can repair this? A little bit. A little. A little. That's disconnected as well. I'll have to bring some steel plate out here. Or grind down some stuff out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's Dex. We do know what type of organic that is. It's Nibbler Poop. Also known as Dark Matter. For the Dark Matter reaction. Uh, speaking of Twitch integration with the Nothing But Blue Skies bit, keep being part of our at War. Uh, I need to do some organization on my server to make it so that RVs at War has a different set of Twitch integrations. Um, that is something I want to work on. Uh, it may happen at some point, I hope. <laughs> All these things um, kind of have to fit around other stuff, usually. Like, Toby. What the? Oh, worms! No! 
Don't, don't spit at me. Oh, there's more of them. Right. Thank you, Paladol. Thank you for 11 months. Oh, man, these things have a lot of health. What the? Ow! Where did one come from? Oh man! You fell it all for eleven months. Thank you, Ghost, Ghost Outcast, for the gifts up. Thank you very much. Thank you, XC6. <laughs> Thank you so much for the thousand bits. Uh, where am I? Who am I? What am I doing? I'm grinding things down to get rid of their markers so that I am less likely to loot, to not notice the markers that come up. That was my main reason for jumping straight out to get these guys. I wanted to make sure that any new red markers were a lot more apparent. And when there are already six on my HUD, I find it much harder to notice. Which is why I dislike the Capac style of HUD, where, you know, everything is there. Thanks, Morbus. Thank you for the prime sub. How much easier would life on June have been if they all had checked? <laughs> yes. Didn't... Wait. I know in the June um, RTS 4XC style game, um, the... Oh man, I'm having a men mental blank on which faction it is. One of the factions do have, like, jump packs. But I don't know whether that's a thing from the extended June books or not, because I honestly didn't read the extended June books, because... Inventory full. Inventory full. Yeah, I know it's full, Inventory I'm just getting rid of it. Full. Uh, glad the guides have been helpful, Ferryman, because I'm actually working on... Some new guides. Um, energy low. What? Why isn't this working? How are the... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to merge block these two grids back together. Normally, um, if you've got two separate grids like this that are both stuck in voxel, they will allow you to just snap them together. I don't know why they're not. That's very odd. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Hey, Shadow. Welcome, Raiders. How's it going? How went your Minecrafting? Oh, and thanks, Cronulus, for the raid before I'd actually gone live. <laughs> Properly. <laughs> Thank you as well. Um. Okay, something more wrong than what I'd expected is happening here. Thanks, Sparks Cows. Thank you for the thumb. Uh, this isn't right. They should be merging. Because merge blocks do not require power. Huh. Interesting. Very annoyingly <laughs> interesting. Arr. Energy critical. Yeah, nothing.
Do I have the world pads? Um. Did I put advanced welding in this? I did. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get the world pads in place, though. Because placing them and welding them is going to be quite difficult. Because uh, I, the weld pads need to be... Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to weld pad this. I think we just have to grind this side down. Oh no, Raider Pod. Uh, let's go get power before I take those guys on. a beam in the middle that drops then welds. Interesting idea. Oh, ow. Hide in halt. Should have tried to go after the pod itself. Get some more silver. Oh, no, not deep enough. One hit then. All right, one down. Oh, this is quite fun. This is quite fun fighting in these holes. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that's deep. That's real deep. It's time. It's time. Ah, my time has come. No, it has not. Not this time. Ow, ow. Okay, maybe this time. Yeesh. Matcher, thank you for 51 months. Holy cow. Uh, where can I get to that's closer? And then I just really wasn't. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have med kits. I mean, I could just jump inside and go get some help. But... Not out and about. a bit safer for me. Whoop. Um. Oh, you're flying. Not anymore. Alright, friendo, you're the last one standing. Yeah, got him. Only lost 12 health in that battle too. Cool. Uh, there's a body. Hmm. You possibly could keep one alive as a prisoner. It'd be tricky though. Um, you'd need welders and a lot of material supplies to keep the welders going. So why are there foxholes out here? Because the drones keep doing this to the surface with rockets. Um, and they are actually making some headway in a few spots. Oh, 
but I probably will have to do a voxel reset at some point sooner rather than later, which will undo all their good work. And if I do that, maybe, maybe at the time I do the reset, I should come up with some sort of um, kamikaze style missile bomb dropper, something like that, that will potentially blow through the roof in a single week sort of thing, if I don't take care of it. Maybe a bomb dropper. I wonder how hard that is to do. I'll have to ask TFA. Basically something that ho hovers over my location and drops warheads. Armed warheads. Yeah, I guess that no, not not a mini lotus, nothing of that extent. Oh, ah, it's the gyro one. I should have gone straight for the beacon. Give me the beacon. I just want to kill the beacon. Let me kill the beacon. Let me kill the beacon. I just want to get rid of the marker. These gyro ones are so annoying, especially since the shape is irregular. Um, unlike the vanilla ones with the gyros that are set up like a ball so they roll, this thing's irregular so it's actually even more annoying. Yeah, Matcha, I agree that the crate is a bit oversized for the small offering inside. It's something I want to work on. I like the idea of these drop crates, but... Um, in the eventual implementation, the idea of making them so big stopped making sense. It, uh, I'm, no, I'm never going to hit anything useful with the, the rifle. Am I kidding? when I read it, really need a rocket launcher. I've been... Oh, hang on. Hang on. I know what I can do. Okay, this isn't working as effectively as I'd hoped. Kind of hoping that this would just demo it entirely. Did not. It's stuck in here now. Ah, deep out. Fine. <laughs> yeah, arc style cage, exactly. I was going to mess with what was inside these. I wonder what loots would actually be Inventory good. I feel like sold. the explosives are quite a good loot. Because there's useful stuff in them, but you have to process it. Adds its own challenge. Alright, let's get on to building these turrets and get some more up there. To grind down that side, I think. Build it. Hopefully, ammo will drop out. Yes. Kind of reminded me of when motorcycles would drive around in a cage, yeah. yeah it, did, it did have that feel.
Um, New Digital Blue, you can't really do rovers as NPCs on anything but the most perfectly smooth of planets. Um, there's a reason why Escape from Mars was set on Mars. Because the, the hovercraft rovers that it has only work on such a flat Energy planet. Low. And in the specifically flat area where the scenario was set. Uh, so it's it's one of those things that rovers, rover NPCs, uh, if you ever see them in my series, in any of my series, are almost certainly going to be piloted by real people. Because uh, I'm very fortunate to have real people who are willing to do things like that for me to make stuff like that possible. Uh, like you see in assertive acquisitions. Imagine escape from the Alps. <laughs> yeah, TFE. Whoa! I did not. Holy. Ah. Okay. That's a that's a double. That's a double. Ow. Oh, this is gonna be bad. There are so many bots out there. I was just about to repair the turret too. Oh, I wonder if I can get up and repair the turret in Nope! Nope, they're all there. There's a firing line in at my entrance. Ow. without a turret! Ow. Yeah, the flying out of the cone uh, was... <laughs> That's actually my idea to do that at launch. Capac was not convinced, but I'm so glad it worked as well as it did. Oh, good. I think the, other, I think the turret's helping occasionally. Oh, this is this is not good. Yep, my turret is helping. Proper base defense. Yeah, I, I was in the process of rebuilding my turrets. Whoa. My corpse. Ow. Shut up that entryway a bit. out of ammo? Uh, I don't think so. I think the guys are just, I think the bots are still just too far down. Hey! Jerk shouldn't be flying. Well, that does seem fair because I fly around you. I think that's it. Guess so, you jerk. Get my turret now. Okay. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Just look across the chat and see kill all humans. Ah. Die. Oh, you got shot. Incoming next lot of drop pods. Uh, hang on. I know what I can do. Drop 
Grab all the ammo. Grab all the ammo. That's all I can carry for now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No, oh, I will not engage with you on your own terms. No, stop shooting my turret. Oh, you monsters. No. Ow. 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 Okay, that didn't work. New plan. <laughs> New plan. Uh, cannot build the turret quickly enough. I do not have a good enough world. <laughs> and there are too many bad guys. Materials. Loot first. Health later. Definitely not the right way to do things, but it's fine. Yeah, I do need a fly swatter. Unfortunately, my um my fighter is not in a good shape. Thanks, Captain Bell. Thank you for 25 months. Now that was a look. Yeah, my fighter can ram, but the only thing it's going to ram if I try and hit these guys is the ground. I know my piloting skill. Or lack thereof. Tart might be out of ammo. was a relatively successful attack. Let's go back and get health. Yes. Robots keep falling on my head. That does appear to be what's happening. Well, once these... Once the reign of robots stops, I can perhaps consider doing some things like adding extra turrets and arming my turrets and conveying up something closer to the entrance eventually so that I can drop stuff there without having to go inside. Apparently robots can't look down. Get some interior turrets out there. And I think I will stop the Gatlings from shooting the little dudes. This is a bit of an expensive way to hit them.
That's a hard sign at the entrance. Yeah, I put a no access thing on when I was um, setting up the scenario. I thought it looked nice. Oh, seriously, none of these blocks are allowing merging between them. It's real weird. I didn't notice an update to SE that broke that. Yeah, of course, Shadow. That's <laughs> the theme to my solo streams is uh, let's have a serious challenge from some some source that I can keep upping when I want to. <laughs> I like it. I like it this way. Just have shadow drop blocks on them. Yeah. Oh yeah, I should have... I could have done that. Would have been more effective than against the drop. Uh, okay, so. Do... This is the Underground series, Captain Crash. Yes. No, Raptor, I'm not going to give Capac or Shadow control of drops. Uh, no. Oh. You should not be shooting at small ships. Or large ships. Just characters. So just put, uh, I'll put 30 in there. I don't know, Shadow. How many, whose skull have you been looking for? Should I be trusting you? This time I'm actually going to provide more of a connection between all of these blocks so that hopefully the grids don't separate again, because that was really annoying. Yeah, fair shadow. Although I don't think you'd want me to give you control over the drops. Do I hope you demise? Yes. Do I contribute to your demise? Not that you know of. Well played, Shadow. Well played. Uh, Tilly Dan, I've I've already set up both turrets. I selected them both when I was setting them up to tar target just characters. So they're both on just target characters. a little more connected. And a few more armor blocks and then we'll get the second turret down. I should get some ammo from the turret that's there. 
Oh. Oh, I need to make some more Gatling ammo. Uh, let's disassemble. To those. And then I'll make ammo when I come back. How to shoot over the warfare barricades? I have no idea. I do have explosives to disassemble, that is true. Building a bit of a bigger platform for this one. And I think I should probably plan to do the same for all of them as I go along. Thanks to that disconnection bug. Fuel low. I assume is a bug, and not some new behaviour that Keen actually wanted to introduce. Uh. No. Fuel critical. Uh. Oh, almost perfectly landed it. Not quite though. Uh, Captain Crash, I don't know what you mean by that question. Wow, not. That's really annoying that that's got such a big area on it. I keep grabbing it. Uh... Oh, that's what I need to do. O2, H2, Jan. TTT. Now I can just type TTT and I can put my bubble in. Conveniently close to where my hand sits. It's one letter more than the double T that bottle has in it, so it's defined specifically that thing. And yet it's what, what I can always remember to search for when I search for a bottle. It's like having CC for my main cargo container. You haven't spawned any terrorists yet. There's no trouble in terrorist town here. Yet. I'm surprised no one's made a game mode of space engineers like that. I guess it's not I, actually, I'm surprised Keen haven't, because Keen seemed to be more um, interested in making first-person shooter variants in Space Engineers than anyone else these days. Ah, uh, nuts. Got this turret built. Huh? Oh, I'm on disassembling. That's why I can't order stuff. Cancel that. It's Johnny H. Thank you for nine months. Um. Captain Crush, I have previously had a, like, we played um, Valheim as a community thing, as a server, which was great fun. Space Engineers is a bit of an awkward one to play live with people, which really changed the targeting priorities. Uh, just because of the potential for griefing being so high. Thanks, Ethelium. Thanks for 25 months. Uh, I haven't seen any chat poll ties as yet. Yet. Uh, what I was going to do... Make a battery. Should probably continue making the ammo first. I'm going to make a battery and put it in behind this. So I can put lights on the entrance, but also turrets up on these walls. Just have to be careful about where I put them so they're not blocking. I can probably just put them up on the roof here, that makes the most sense. Please. 
least one hanging down from the ceiling. Thank you, Mr. Shinigami. Thank you for the prime sub. <laughs> Thank you, Cole. Thank you very much for the five give subs. But this see what nice prize you guys gave me. Never run out of inventory space before I get into it. Some more cobalt. Inventory full. Yeah. Need need to have a tweaked version of this mod for each series, I think, that has different amounts of stuff in it. Because this was all set up with tiny amounts of stuff, because this was for my scrapyard playthrough originally. All these drops. The votes will appear from time to time when people call them, or periodically when the integration calls the votes itself. Um, they just appear as a poll in Twitch chat. You just got to keep an eye on it. Oi. No, tip over. I do not want to be damp to that anymore. That is going to land hard. <laughs> okay, first up. I think this one... I feel like this one has some nice stuff in it. I don't know that we could count that one as emotional support trying to kill me when it it's me choosing to dampen to it and be stupid enough to fly into the ground if that were to happen. Yeah, explosives, nice. Quite helpful. Dear. You guys shooting for a three way tie this time. Should I vote? There's enough delay that it does actually, it is actually quite difficult for you guys to get a tie. Ah, uh, bots, bots, bots! Um, okay. I want to... Put more of this ammo because I don't need to be carrying that much. Let's make some Gatling ammo. Yeah, I, I think the delay is good because it does add that extra bit of interest. Plus, there are people who are probably not wanting uh, all of the things to happen at once. It may well be that um, you've got some agents working against those of you who want the multiples. Yeah. 
pod may well get shot down. Once in the air are so hard to hit. Yeah. Probably should have tried to coax them over to my turrets, but I'm actually doing pretty well this time. Ow! I was wrong. Takari, how on earth would I make or use a rocket launcher? They require uranium and platinum. Neither of which I have. Is that dead? It might just be the one left. Bad time for reload. Yeah, maybe I should put med kits in one of the crates. Because <laughs> I don't have any source for med kits. And maybe that would be a good option. In fact, I should probably write that down somewhere. Where's another body? Find. Uh, let's get. S might get on to building this battery now. Fill a pot and find a plush in its inventory. I don't think I can. I don't know enough about how to set up the AI enabled style um, bots to edit their inventories. Um, but I can certainly mess with my own stuff. Uh, and I am actually going to write this down. Uh, da. And we have... Round and load. Add med hits to loot from drops. There we go. Now, at least I won't forget that until I forget that I've written that down somewhere. Because that could be a thing. Uh, the robots don't have anything to be ground from them. They're human. They're the same as human corpses. You only get stuff from looting their bodies. Um, and I don't bother breaking down the rifles because there's not enough in them and it's work. I just grab everything else. Because things like power cells, it's kind of nice to collect them. So I'm still not at a resource level where I've got auto crafting enabled. Having a little bit of accumulated stuff over time is nice. So I have a... I have like my own little discord server that I keep all my ideas in and I've I did a big rearrangement during the week so that stuff's in categories so hopefully I can find the ideas when I'm looking for the ideas so yes I sort of do have a list of lists now <laughs> hey crazy Ivan thank you so much for the thousand bits that's it too thank you very much uh turret Not about doing a bot, which is like a sandbag, so... Um... No, I hadn't, actually. It's an interesting idea. What? Oh, there's a tiny bit of voxel there. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that little... Bit. 
It, that, that is an interesting idea. In this sort of context. It would no, it'd be a less deadly spawn. Like, it wouldn't be as bad to fight against as a lot of the others. Uh, which isn't a bad thing. Because variety is the spice and all that. Um, but I guess I could have it broadcast at a shorter radius, so it's sort of like a surprise landmine that shoots you from a distance. Um, I could, like, have it broadcast only at its... Um, turret radius or something. Hey, Elemental! <laughs> Thank you for the 101 bits. Um, I have heard of X-Mind. I've never used any of those mind mapping things, and I have no idea how to utilize that sort of thing to get any sort of productive outcome from them. Um, it's not something I've ever used, so it's not something I've got the mindset of how to take advantage of and I feel like the learning curve to make it useful um, may not pay off okay we now have a very heavily guarded entrance one entrance um, I think I'm just going to continue expanding from this particular segment though I need to double up the connection to that left hand turret though Also, while we've got Quiet Skies, should really consider going out and getting a uh, load of ore. Let's see what ore I need the most of. I mean, probably just grab some iron since I'm building lots of armor out here. Because what was I going to get at the end of last stream? Was it iron? I don't remember now. How do I stay motivated to play single player on stream so often? Um, a really cool thing about streaming and about making videos, and which is why I've always interacted a lot with the comments, it doesn't really feel the same as single player on my own anymore. Having people to engage with about what I've made adds a huge amount to my experience. It was after Cobalt. Mm. Um, and yeah, I just, I just found the Deep Iron, so I should probably go get both of those. But yeah, it adds a huge amount to my experience, which is... Um, I spoke about this quite a bit during the Valheim series, because uh, we were all building very decorative stuff. It was all just built kind of for building something cool. And being in that circumstance, it was really nice to be able to share with others that cool experience I get. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to do some supporter server series like that in the uh, as the year goes on. Got a few things potentially, ideas like that. Some of which will be. One of which is, this stage, I'm still thinking won't be live streamed. It'll be recorded instead, but we'll see how it plays out. Okay. What was I doing? Mining. Unless chat's about to do evil. Yep. Chat did evil. I see that drone. Fine, I'll repair this and see if I can take it down. Just probably have a parking spot. Oh! I remember what I was doing at the end of last week. I was building thing to turn ice into power. Are you wondering, Entity? Two, 
Let's see. Definitely need some sort of repair bay for my fighter whenever I build a proper one. Because much as this has worked, it hasn't worked well. It's made me yearn for a frenzy or a wasabi or something of that ilk. Because I've actually been really happy with my fighters in AA. I know a lot of people get confused as to why on earth I play against... Oh, we are so low on power on this thing. Why I play against large grids with small grids. It's because it's more fun that way, I think. Um... Need a connector. I need to power this up. So, how do I want to park this? The Rive appears to be rapidly coming this way. Hopefully, my turrets can take it down. Uh, the wasabi is <laughs> made with ion thrusters, which would not be useful here, and also not able to be built by me right now. Or ever. Yeah, the welding setup helps make fighters like that far more... Oh, I think the Writhe might be taking out the emotional support packages over here. So we're going to run out of fire drift and... Oh, you've got a turret. Okay. Back I go. That's enough to scare me off. Thanks, Andy Wall. Thank you for the prime sub. Could I refit the wasabi for atmosphere? I don't think so. Um, it is heavily reliant on the smaller size of the ion thrusters compared to Atmo. And I know we've got the flatmos now, but I don't think the flatmos uh, will provide enough thrust. are actually getting any hits. Oh dear. It is trying to shoot me or the turrets? I think the turrets. Hey! Turret is the winner. How much ammo do I have left? None. I'm going to need to pipe those up event uh, sooner rather than later. Thanks, Chilla. Thanks for the prime sub. Oh, oh Chilla. Ah! Um, mods for this series aren't really relevant because very few of them are public. And they're likely to remain that way. Because most of them don't actually work in single player anyway, so there's no point publishing them. Alright, let's load it up. Let's disconnect and get out of here and get some resources. In first person, then towards Iron Two. Iron Two is where I want to go. I think. Really need a reverse camera on this thing because I can't drive from third person. Uh, Shadow, putting a remote on the rover doesn't fix this problem. I actually tested this on the Skywalk and. Uh, putting a remote does not change your piloting location. It's still based on where you're seated. Or at least it was when I tested it. 
unless one of the mods I'm using is messing with it. But yeah, it's based on where the character's seated, which is annoying. Yeah, but then you can sit in the minor. Yeah, actually, that's a fair point. We could do that. That might work. Didn't think about that. Didn't realise that's what you were talking about. Although, every time I get into first person of this, I'm like, oh yeah. Need to see if there's a way to force third person temporarily. I mean, force first person temporarily. So you guys can do that to me. Because that could be funny. Seriously? Crack it off the sill? my wheels to be less my suspension to be less firm nope, still can't alright, how am I going to get up there? what is the alternate route? Gotta be one. Where is the way to go? This shallow enough and smooth enough. Yeah, no. to be a yes. There we go. All the power. The answer to everything, apparently. Whoa. Freeze. Invisi trees. Do VR and SE? Uh, no, not really. There are some like demos of things that, like, there's one. There's a demo of one that Sectan made ages ago in Unreal, I think. Um, what the? I just heard explosion of part. It sounded like. I think I saw where I've lost it too. Yeah, what the heck? Apparently that hit on the ground? Somehow? Weird. No, there, there were never any cargoes there. Drill down 200 meters and create a disaster of a trap for myself later. I do not have a published blueprint for this miner. This miner was just built last week. Uh, I haven't really 
used it yet properly. It's mined some ice, that's about it. Oh, oh, that's too far. Not tilt that. about it. It mined ice and it survived. That shouldn't feel like as much of an achievement as it sounds like it kind of is. Miner needs to earn its blueprint. Yeah. I mean, a miner by default earns a connector because it has a good way of making it painful if you don't have one. Fighters, on the other hand. <laughs> At least the ones I've made in this series. Oh yeah, eight minutes of power. That's not great. I'm only going to be able to get like one load of iron out of this. I suspect the base has been stealing the ship's power. Uh, yeah, I have found gold. I have yield modules on my refinery. Yeah, I can make power on the rover with ice because I've got the hydrogen engines and stuff, so I can get power there. But I need to probably... I do need to establish that on the base as well. So I've got a proper power source there. is thicker than the other one, but it's not thick. Or is it? No, I don't think it's especially thick. Was it? Okay. Pretty full. Watch that artificial horizon carefully, because... This does not like being sideways. And power is at three minutes. Let's get out of here. Jeez. That's another reason to get out of here. You guys got a, boat, a pole running? It's like I might be getting a Charlie. Morning, Charlie. Are you being a pest? The PA is reporting for work, yeah. One minute. I just need to get out of this hole. No, 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 don't scrape on the side. Ugh. Go up. Go up faster. I am so going to lose my miner in a second. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Out of the hole. Get over the ground. Oh. Okay, it's not evil. Oh, that was too close. That was way too close. What 
else did I accidentally just include in that group? Saddle cockpit? Uh, recharge. That's what I want. Happily steal... Re uh, steal stuff from the truck. Okay. Um, medium... Land. That's very cross. And it's all already transferred. Cool. This was all in the drills, pretty much. <laughs> Thanks, Fire Strike. Yeah, Shadow, the trouble is, while it says a minute, my experience is that it seems like it goes a minute, 40 seconds, 20 seconds, 3, 2, 1, it's dead. It doesn't go through the numbers <laughs> in an orderly progression. It's kind of like an installation um, progress bar. It, it's not um, the level of accuracy you, ex you hoped for. At least you know at least the hole is straight up so you know it'll take the maximum damage in the event it loses power yeah that was my fear um now oh, the battery's looking stored power 103 there are 15 percent that could be enough for me to go down and take another trip Probably not far off. No, do I have still have some ice left? No. It's enough to get some ice though. Missing on power. I didn't check that at all, did I? I didn't even do the slightest put the slightest bit of consideration into how much power output all my thrusters were taking. I just kind of built them and hoped that was smart I mean I could have I could have mined my hand yes this gets a lot more ice a lot more quickly though Filling. Freezer. Oh, all, oh wait, no, they're on the truck. Yeah, I think I might just head on back home. Because I don't think I'm going to really have much luck with uh, getting this charged up. And I should probably get the base going. Honestly, New Digital Blue, the... Thanks for the shake, Charlie. Uh, the ejector becoming a connector has barely changed the game for me at all. It has... It's nice. Don't get me wrong. But it's it's been largely irrelevant to me. I am 
might as well grab this. Let the engines run for a bit. Except for the device. Oh, nuts. This one. Please don't land on my truck. Oh, hit the tree. <laughs> oh, it's going to take off again. Go on. Off you go. Like, I used the tiny connector... We used the tiny connector a fair bit in Wrong Way Up. Uh, for refueling and such. But yeah, in most of my regular play, it's not been... It's not the sort of thing I use a lot. However, having said that, I have a lot of habits I have developed over the years. As in just a few months, I will have been playing Space Engineers for 10 years. And... It's entirely possible that it's those habits that are stopping me from using stuff more than it is um, those things being useful or not. It's just that I didn't have a habit, so I don't think about it. This thing keeps ejecting me off. I think it has wedged itself in the box a little bit. He's unhappy about it. This whole side is wedged in. Now I should be able to stand up. Oh, actually, now I've got a remote control block. Put one on. I just got the parts for one. Uh, no, Shadow. I would not say I'm a stubborn old man. I'd say that prize goes firmly to Kaha. Because in the face of evidence to the contrary, he will continue to do the same thing. Where'd my truck go? There. Uh, in my case, it's just habits. It's not... Uh, choice. It's entirely habit that leads me down this path. As I do try and learn to use the new stuff, it's just sometimes it just doesn't happen. When I'm stubborn, it's entirely to be it's entirely because something is, no is annoying me or someone is annoying me. <laughs> or because I think it's funny. Works. Uh, we want. Stop. Yeah. The attacks. I mean, if I'm doing this, I may as well get rid of the cockpit on the front. Although, maybe having potential of double controls is helpful. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of a fun way to play, <laughs> to drive this. Seeing my character <laughs> hunched over a seat like they're riding a sports bike, but. They're actually on top of a giant rover and mining vehicle. Oh. Wow. I mean, if you insist on noticing, you're going to be that close. 
Crocodile boots. Not bad. Give me your thruster. I don't have enough inventory space for it. Inventory full. It's fine. spot if I go just a little bit further. Uh, Xavier, I've actually started writing some scripts for redoing all of my initial tutorials, so I would think, I would hope I would get to the point of doing lighting with those as well. Uh, but yeah, figure it's been almost five years since I did those original tutorials. Time to give them a refresh as people keep claiming that stuff I put in them isn't current even though it still is my most common comments on the tutorials are thank you so much for getting me over the massive learning cliff and this doesn't work anymore this totally isn't a thing in the game anymore and it's like yeah it is um, you just misunderstood the wonky way that progression works Beacon on the rover, maybe? Yeah, maybe. That might be helpful. Ah, uh, yes. I, I haven't yet decided whether to um, revise my rant against P or whether I cut it out entirely. I don't know. I still feel like P is bad. And you should never use P. Uh, except for painting, obviously. What do you Because you never know who you're playing with, and you never know who is going to be... Well, I mean, you're playing multiplayer. And if you, or if you're playing single player, you never know who you're playing with because you might well be really tired at the time and forget to update the connector settings such that they don't get counted. Oh, you mean you mean this voice, Shadow? Uh, I have all the things in here. Loads from my NAS. I did press P. I pressed P and I liked it. <laughs> Get that. I'm wrong way up. <sighs> he is something you just. P is the shortcut key for parking, but it disconnects and it toggles the state of every single thing unless you go into the connector and go control panel and go down here and uncheck used for parking. So if you can be 100%, if you're enough, if you're pedantic enough that you can be absolutely sure, which none of us can be, that you are going to uncheck that every single time you build a connector that is not meant to be used for parking, then sure, you can use P. But no one is that reliable. Humans just aren't. You will make a mistake with it. And you will eventually build a carrier and drop half your ships off. Um. Alright. I still feel the P is terrible. There are so many ways to take that last statement and twist it. <laughs> uh, why... 
Y is weird, because Y is something you don't routinely press anyway. But Y is actually pretty safe these days. Unless you're on a server. If you're on a server, Y is risk. Very risky business. Because if you depower your grid, it can be deleted. So if you depower and then the server does a reset, restart, just as you've done that, say goodbye to your grid. Um, but Y is actually pretty safe now that um, connectors stay connected when power is off. Uh, y is not parking. We're talking keyboard controls, not controller controls. I don't know what the control is on a controller. I, uh, you'll have to wait for the videos to find that out, Cole. to make power generation better. Yeah. I mean, I could do this and make my controls look different. Because I was trying to find out what the shortcut was to get to the controls menu. So that you can go to advanced controller and see all the stuff here, because I wanted to show that off in the tutorial, because that's one thing that wasn't there when I um, did the previous tutorial. Because this is obviously, for anyone on controller, they're going to need all these enormous number of shortcuts to learn them. And to find... And also to find out what Keen calls some of these things. So that I can use the same name so then people can search through this list for that name. Um, you can play with a keyboard and mouse on console. You can play with a controller on PC. It's not a PC versus console thing. Like, the time when I did the test on the Xbox version of Space Engineers, I played with keyboard and mouse. And it was just like playing on a... Because I was playing on an Xbox One X. It was like playing on a mid-range PC at the time. Like a solid mid-range PC. The experience was no different. So, whatever else Keen have done with the um, console version, they have at least made it so it does feel on par until you get to scripted mods. Which isn't something within their control anyway. Uh, how do I want to align these things? Hmm. Do this way. Something. I think how I want to do my little engine arrangements because there's some potentially neat ways you can do this with the engines and the O2H2 gens. That. put the engines on top like that, I think. Uh, no, I don't like that. I'm going to try something. Why am I putting so much thought into this? I don't know. Oh, I'm almost certainly going to move these later. Thanks for the heads up, Elemental. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I've got more turrets than I've had before. Yeah, I, I grew up using keyboard and mouse for first-person games, so that's what I'm comfortable with. I know others 
for various reasons, sometimes accessibility reasons, sometimes just they played Halo first. Um, controller is what they're more comfortable with. Uh, it's a triple pod. I can coax those guys down into my entrance entranceway with a double turret. Uh, there is a conveyor connection on the bottom of the turret, yeah. I'm at the bottom of the engine, yeah. <laughs> Welcome Raiders, yes. Welcome Raiders, time to get some magnesium fired lead um, iron into your face. I mean, keyboard and mouse is just, is more accurate. Um, you, you have greater accuracy and finer control of what you're doing uh, than you do with a controller. Just simply the, the size of the axis you're moving on. Thumbstick has a very small axis. Mouse pad much larger. But, despite that, the guns are inaccurate, and if you're like me, you are also inaccurate, so it doesn't really make a difference. I just know I'm so much worse on the controller. Seven health. Oh, Shadow, that's that's horrific. You're a monster. You prefer a controller for an RTS? What? That's what? How? What? <laughs> oh, ow, that's a lot of hatred coming in. Health critical. Um, I'm, I'm the kind of person who, like, GTA 5 is the best example uh, game I have, where I will walk around and shoot mouse and keyboard. The moment I get in a vehicle, I will pick up a controller. For driving, for flying in a game like GTA, I will always use a controller. Except when I'm trying to shoot while driving. Then I try and use a keyboard, and then I suck because I don't use it. Enough. Bots. Come on, come to my foxhole. going back to get health. Be the last one. Yay! No, you're not the last one! There's another one somewhere. Where is it? around here that I can pick up loot from. Yeah. 
I'll rearm the turrets while I'm here. Okay, it might have fallen in one of the doom holes. They're still as they were. The turrets didn't do a lot there. Need to get I my idea was that I would slowly extend this thing out to the point that then I have stuff up on the actual top. Um I figured survivability of the turrets was improved by limiting their angle of fire, but also the angle of fire of the drones and the like. Whoa! Did fell it fall into doom hole. Did they have a jet pack? Why did you use it? Waiting to ambush me. Yeah, it seemed that way. Ah, oh, so much better having a med bay than a swap kit. What? Uh oh. There's another one in a doom hole. It's digging through. Oh, that would be. Actually, something I'd kind of like as an option. Maybe. Maybe. I, oh, I've got mixed feelings on that. Would you want the bots to be able to pull out a drill and drill their way through? Oh, that could be really bad. It'd be very specific situations where I think that could be fun, but I think most of the time it'd be annoying. As a player, no. As a viewer, yes. I think that's fair, Shadow. I think that's fair. Different desires for different circumstances. So give them grind uh, there are bots that can have grinders uh, in the scenario that TFE made from the supporter sessions that I've run in the past um, some of those bots have grinders I don't think they use and they use them actually no they do use them they will use grinders to pathfind There we go. Now we got power on the base. Now how's our ice looking? Not, no, not too bad amount left. Next thing I need to do is build a large cargo container on here so that I've got one central cargo. Deal with that bot first, because that that voice is gonna really strange. Well, okay, there's more than one bot. Oh boy. Also, apparently I didn't turn characters off on these.
Did a whole pod survive, or was that a new pod that I didn't notice? I feel like it was the last one. Although it could have been a pod that landed a bit further away, I guess. Oh, lucky dip. Yeah, that's what it could have been. If you guys did a lucky dip, there could have been an extra pod. I did not notice, because I am oblivious to way too many things. There are too many things to pay attention to. My brain starts culling. It's like, eh, that's not important. Alright, I should get rid of these. Huh. The others must have already been shot up. Oh yeah, there's a dead one here. Right, turret, got him. Dead one. No, look at that. Cool. Can't fire up enough. And let's get played on me. Yeah, probably. turret on here, which I don't have enough for. Fine. Yes, the Swiss cheese of the ground was made by drones with unlimited rockets. Who could still detect that I existed underground and were unhappy about my continued existence. getting one of these up here will probably be useful. Which is fine. Don't target small ships or large ships. Just target characters. Cool. See how the assembler's doing on disassembling this stuff. Wow, I actually did have a hundred explosives. I didn't realize I collected that many. A decent amount of magnesium powder. That'll be like 60 gat cases of Gatling. Do I have a bot around? Can't hear it. Large cargo, that's what I was doing. Oh well. Uh, I'm sure I will find it eventually, or it will find me. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine-ish. I've got a large cargo down, and then I will work out where I'm going to put that fighter. Oh yeah, just heard it then. Actually, while it's daytime is the perfect time for me to go searching. Data pad, yeah? Yeah. The 
the good stuff. Find the bot. Where is... So where is my hand? Interesting. That's off-putting. Oh, my hands are broken. one of those pods that actually explodes. Uh, yeah, I, I do intend to, at some point, find the time to do a complete redo of the pods. So that they're less predictable for me. Should we finish that? So, now, let's get a large cargo container built. Uh, so something I'm doing right now is keeping myself clear from this boundary of where I drilled. Because if I do the voxel resets, all that section in there will reappear. Uh, and then I'll decide whether I want to do more voxel hand stuff to clean it up. Because uh, at some point I will need to do a voxel reset on this world so that I don't end up with um, massive performance problems from all the holes being dug everywhere. <laughs> Uh, at this stage, there aren't any that are straight up just bombs uh, that explode when the player approaches. The reason there aren't is this was set up for a scrapyard scenario initially. And to do that would have potentially been game ending in that setting. I have mixed feelings on doing the modding live. Um, me staring at a me staring at, a, um, at VS Code. Not the most interactive of things. fun to yell at you as you use VS Code wrong. Thanks, Shadow. Uh, actually, I'm going to put this one block further back. Inventory full. Inventory full. Uh... Xavier, there's not a huge difference between one big hole or lots of tiny holes. Uh, if they're within the same rough vicinity as each other. Uh, basically, the way I understand that Space Engineer's planets work is the planet has a height map, which is generated, and then it saves as an individual thing every single voxel edit that's done. And each of uh, the more edits that are done, the more chunks that are changed, the larger that file becomes and the harder it becomes to load and the worse it becomes for performance. So, spread over a large area, lots of little holes are probably worse. Spread over a small area that's similar-ish in terms of the number of chunks it's affected versus a single giant hole, uh, probably similar. I think I just rotated that the wrong way at the top. Uh, dang. I had wanted to do a pipe up the top. But I also like having cargo access at the front. Now oh, look at this one. Uh, 
Um, the way that I will reset the voxels is not really that accessible because basically I'm going to overwrite those files with the version that I have from when I started this scenario. But if you're playing on your own, you can go to your voxel material, your voxel reset trash removal settings and mess with them there and make it shorter. But yeah, I've kept a version of this save from the very beginning when I'd just done the voxel hands work and I will replace the existing one with that. So I'll just straight up hard replace every single thing that's been done since then with nothing having been done. Oh yeah, that's the Alt F10 menu, sorry. I should have said that. Yeah, public servers are using that voxel cleanup mechanic. Which I've never found to be especially reliable when you're trying to push it to happen really near grids. Um, even when I've said it really aggressively, I've personally not found it to be useful, but I've played on servers that have done that and it's worked really well, so I don't know why. I don't, I don't know what's the difference there and why they behave differently. It's confusing. Oh, yeah, Kinemaru, you could be onto something there. It could be a Torch plugin that's making it more effective uh, at doing more aggressive voxel resets. That could be it. That makes sense. Which, I mean, I could enable something like that on this server, but not really any need to do so. Uh, for most of my active saves that I'm playing in, I prefer to do cleanup manually. Uh, when it's required, rather than as a persistent process. I just feel like it's better that way. Move everything in there. Probably. Probably, yeah. I reckon I'm close to the point where I would... Um, set up Izzy's, I think. Oh, I've got a lot of tools to break down. Thirty-four thousand iron. Nice. Okay. Did I just say ice? I meant iron. Um, I need to get some nickel because I don't have much of that left, and I need to get some more ice because I'm getting low on that. Oh, I've got even more. I've got sixty-nine thousand and two hundred and thirty magnesium. No. Almost 300 magnesium. Sweet. Okay. Let's make some ammo. Uh, while I go out and grab some ice. Oh, I said iron? <laughs> right. I don't know what I'm saying half the time. Battery's getting charged. Yes. Okay. Batteries are at least getting charged when I'm plugged into the base. So that's something. All right. Collect some ice. Come back. Did that a couple of times. What's the nothing but blue skies do? Uh, that just clears the weather. 
that I don't have to deal with bad weather and you guys don't have to deal with, like, especially if we get any of the pea soup type hogs and stuff, such like that, that are more annoying than they are interesting. Trying to send me back to my cave? Never! I mean, almost immediately, probably, if something nasty comes. I have no defense. This on Keynes website about resetting once well, the world loads press F12. Um, I thought the F12 menu was re removed. How old's that entry digital content? really need to go in here and grab all of these medium cargo containers, rename them and put something in them that's useful for me. Yeah, something I can quickly type like that. Because RR for Rover. Then I can just do this and go inventory of current grid and then press RR and then transfer any remaining mice across. Go mine again. Rescue rangers, sure, why not? a second connector to align yourself. I can see that being useful in certain situations. I'm honestly not particularly fussed in this instance to have it um, perfectly aligned. I don't think it really matters all that much. So close enough is good enough for the way I drive. Uh, that looks pretty well loaded, so this next load's the last. Uh, so for my particular needs, not in this instance, I don't think required, but certainly can think of situations where you would uh, gain from using the magnetism of a connector to get another connector or connection lined up neatly. But you also, then also got to consider you need that extra connector on your grid, so depending on the design, it may not be a thing that's um, nice. Yeah, Logan, most blocks bring their own baggage with them that's not so great. Um, 
using merge blocks to align perfectly is yeah it'll align you absolutely perfectly but then the grid name stuff and the other weirdness that can happen with merge blocks and the instant snapping to connection can cause clanging if you're on a voxel surface it can go a bit weird sometimes so it's not always the best option or it's often not the best option is a solid load of ice. I actually really like how this uh, minor design came out. I need a name for it. I'm thinking pancake. Actually, what it's making me think of right now is a corn tortilla. Burrito. The... Actually, you know what? The rover could be the burrito. And the miner could be the taco. <laughs> the burrito. That... Why not? Let's do it. Oh no, this is the Underminer. I named this. This is the Underminer. But it can be renamed. It can be renamed. Kelly, stop doing that. Not good for your feet. Oh yeah, I probably should disable the mag strength on this. So I don't get pulled into it and snap things. Uh, right. Now I've got ice, I've got more power being generated. I should probably add a couple of hydrogen tanks. And potentially... Oh, that's what I was thinking about. Um, should I do this before or after I get the fighter powered up? I should get the fighter powered up first. I'm gonna make a bit of a platform for the miner. Uh, for the miner? For the fighter. Uh, and it's gonna have its own hangar so that I can potentially see if I can get some um, welders in range to be useful. Uh, no, the miner is not an RC drone. I don't like remote controlled miners. Um, I am way too addicted to third person camera control <laughs> to, to use a remote controlled miner. My positional awareness without third person camera is abysmal because with third person camera, it's still abysmal, just slightly less horrible. Big noise, Charlie. At some point, I will totally do a series that's first person only. 
at least one stream. Maybe I'll just do one stream that first that's first person only. Just to torture myself, I guess. Let's see. Force myself to use cameras on vehicles. Second person only. I have to navigate. So I have to watch, say, Capac's stream of me doing things to control myself. That sounds like an awful, awful, awful thing to have to do. <laughs> Link the container to itself. There's, there's no connection linking the container to itself. I've linked to the back of the container because I wanted to leave the front clear. For functionality. That's a rear mounted connector. For now. Alright. That's Oh, we're really short on construction components. Once I go out and get that nickel, I think it'll be time to um set this up to be run with Izzy's inventory manager. And have some auto crafting set up. Fighter have to have a large connector. It does not, but putting a small connector on a base with a hinge or rotor conversion isn't something I wanted to do in this particular instance. Just because I didn't want to have to deal with that. And this fighter has a large connector. One of the reasons I do often put large connectors on fighters, though, is because a large connector is about all the cargo capacity you need on a fighter if you pipe up your cockpit as well. So then you don't need to add a cargo container. And the, co and the connector is smaller. First person only, no jetpack, no suit. Well, I have been thinking about how I might do a season two of Survival Impossible. And I have I have a concept that I am not going to share, but I do have a concept for that. <coughs> um, and the pieces for it are coming together. I've got some other ideas I want to execute first. Um, yeah. And Keenies only. Oh, so uncomfortable. Uh, one of the things that I want to do for a, um, for a revival of it is not have daily needs. Because it didn't really change anything apart from the very beginning. Like, it, it really didn't change gameplay in any meaningful way other than just kind of being a bit annoying. Well, eat, sleep, drink, repeat, whatever it is. Um, that one is the more popular one these days. It seems. Or at least the one I hear people talking about. Um, I... I just haven't found either of them like any of those sorts of mods to actually change space engineers in a way that 
uh, felt meaningful. And I don't know how they could. So I don't, I don't take this as criticism of the mod authors or the mod mods itself. It's that space engineers. How do you? How do you make carrying food difficult without it being annoying? Because ultimately, that's what happens. You end up carrying food in containers rather than um, manufacturing it on site. And by carrying food on, in containers, it becomes meaningless to carry months worth of food. Uh, so it doesn't really doesn't really do anything in the game. And I don't know how to change that. And I think... I think... Keen did the right thing by not adding it as a result. Because the rest of the game... It doesn't change it. Like, what I would want... And what I always want from mods that I add to my series... Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Um, Scrapyard, this worked brilliantly. I want stuff that makes me have to engineer more. I want to be forced to do more engineering. And... If a mod doesn't force me to do more engineering and more interesting engineering, then I don't think it... does enough for me to want it. And spoiling food is a mechanic that can make it so you want to build production facilities, but then I just don't think that adds anything either. Yeah, food buffs are ultimately how a lot of survival games, thanks to... Um, uh, Valheim now do things. And I think that's a good thing. I think food buffs are a great answer to this issue. Like a great solution to it. Where you want to have good foods available to you and so you put the effort into making good foods. But I don't... That doesn't feel right in Space Engineers. Me anyway. Uh, yeah, GTA San Andreas, you, uh, if you exercised, you got buff. If you ate too much bad food, you got overweight. Um, I quite like that. It was fun. It was fun making my, my dude really heavy. And then making one that was, then taking him from really heavy to really buff. But yeah, I just... I, I still see most of these things and most of the answers that are easily implementable in Space Engineers as not really changing the way I play the game. And I'm out of nickel. Okay. Would be why nothing is being made. Good, good. Let's go mine some nickel. Uh, once I upload all the ice... It's already offloaded. Cool. And full supply. Do I wait a second? Oh no, magnesium and nickel, though. What I, what I think would be something that would be useful, although I don't know how it would impact performance, would be to see something that expands on the idea of the upgrade module concept. Um, something that makes your weapons more 
effective in some ways but worse in others something that um makes your welders have a slightly increased range for a slower rate of welding so you know those sorts of things so that you can manipulate stuff and make it personalized to your particular use case because that i think impacts design in an interesting way no not we not character i'm talking about the grid based stuff not suit upgrades So if you're building a welding array and you want it to be able to reach deeper into a thing, it maybe only operates on half as many ticks, game ticks, as the regular one does. So yeah, it has that higher range, but for performance it and for balance, it's slower. So you might set up a few more of them, but maybe the way that the upgrade module sits means you can't set up as dense a packed array. Things that make you make interesting choices, basically. Hey, Zach. Um, that's kind of the stuff that I think is... would be good. I have no skill with which to set up a mod like that. Uh, but I think it would... I think it could work. And would actually, you know, change some engineering. I think it could, um, I think it could also be beneficial for, for, for performance on servers if it was done the right way too. Potentially. Some big thick ammo storage that is hard to armor and work around. Yeah. Huh. I know that there are ways to limit some stuff that can go into particular storages, but I wonder if they you can make... Um, I wonder if you can define the restrictions of what can go in what. In terms of um, making ammo storage independent of regular storage. So your ammo storages can be made weaker and have their own downsides to them. So you have to protect your ammo storage on your grid. This one's not quite so deep, so I might um, widen the accents. Plus I've got more power this time. And now I'm bored, I'm just going to go down. <laughs> Although, a bit annoying. My tail drags if I do it at a steepness with which I'm comfortable. Uh, I don't particularly like the Smooth Voxels mod, Kern. Um... It makes driving rovers trivial. Or too trivial for my tastes. I like the crags that are there. I particularly chose this planet, Eros, uh, because its craggies are mild. But they still make traversing certain bits of the surface a bit tricky. Uh, the ones on Earth-like and Alien are too severe, but when you add the smooth voxels mod, it smooths them out too much for my tastes. So, I I prefer not having them. As in, I prefer to leave the crags there and just deal with them. 
Oh, there's deep iron here too. Oh. Uh, let's dig towards that and mark it. Uh, Marcus, yeah, I enshrouded is something that uh, Capac TFE and I, in fact, TFE, absolutely will be playing with me uh, when we play enshrouded because he he seems really keen about it. Um, but our plan is to play enshrouded when it releases uh, and play it on the like during the stream where we would normally play Icarus. So the three of us are already available. Play a cop. So yes, we'll probably end up building some sort of a town with the three of us. Although, probably TFE and I doing more building and Capac just running off and doing the entire story without us even being aware that he's disappeared. Because that's what he does. Hey, Rambo. And widen the access on my way back up this time. Good. Does that mean Icarus is ending? Uh, it means Icarus will pause. There's only so many, so many games you can fit in uh, with the number of streams that I can reasonably do. That's, that's our plan at the moment. Like, we might alternate. Some weeks do Icarus, some weeks do Enshrouded. We don't know. See how Enshrouded plays with the three of us. How much we want to just keep playing it or not. Uh, for those unfamiliar, I played in the Enshrouded demo uh, on stream last year. And it's a tiny voxel building game. Uh, where instead of having like tons and tons of workbenches, you can actually go out and find blacksmiths and people who then you ask to make stuff for you. Which I thought was a nice way of doing it. Oh yeah, yeah. AA, I have no ending planned or otherwise <laughs> in mind for AA. AA is not going anywhere. Um, AA has turned into my new survival unlikely and I'm very happy about that. series where we just muck around and do things that we feel like and have a bunch of people adding in some unexpected story elements when we are most going to be surprised by them which is great I really enjoy it What would the AA crew do if we found a stowaway? Uh, Capac? Probably try and shoot it with a... He'd either run away, try and shoot, or he'd... Oh, what? The ice didn't... I... Didn't I... What? I swear I checked that. Oh, that's so annoying. I just want I got the ice out. Uh, well, I guess I'll just head home then. I know I've got a little more capacity, but I'll just take this. Kabak would either disappear, try and befriend them, or shoot them before asking any questions. TFE would get in the Marlin, jump away, and disappear. <laughs> or, no. TFE would get in the Marlin, 
It'd get shot by a single rifle blast. He'd claim that he's getting eviscerated. And then he'd jump away. Uh, and I'd just shoot him. Yeah, fair. Capac might also think that the per the stowaway was TFE or myself. That too. And just be talking to them. Not realising that he's talking to someone else. That is entirely plausible as well. if he would jump into the mile and start to leave, get distracted and rebuild the mile. Maybe. Assertive acquisitions or AA is Space Engineers. The edit, it's the main edited series on my channel these days. Because it's been running now for 70 episodes. I have a pretty good feeling it's going to reach the big 100 at some point. Probably should have chosen a different entry, but this was the closest one, so oh well. Uh, Paladin leads. I don't. I don't even have a thousand videos on my channel. So talking about a thousand episodes of a single series seems um, a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I think my channel, including VODs, has something like six hundred and thirty videos on it. At this stage. Yes, Conqueror, the votes do do something. I've just not been picking up the drops. Because uh, I've been preoccupied with talking and mining. I did enjoy Void Crew. Um, it's just not something that's easy to find time to play. Uh, but yeah, it was a good game. I quite enjoy those games. Those um, co cooperative four player three or four player things um, I enjoy them while you are learning them once you've learnt them I find that at least for from a content perspective they get a little too serious um, and that that makes them less fun to from a content perspective from a gameplay, I can I can still be very much enjoying them, but yeah, I tend to find that once I've learnt the game, it's it's less. I'm less keen to play it as a stream or a video. Ironically, I have not played Lethal Company. Uh, both cap uh, TFE has played it and didn't like it. Um, Capac has looked at it and said, "No, I don't think I'll like this." And so I haven't played it. Okay. I build a drone or transporter from a miner. Um from a mobile miner I mean, it's not that hard to do I, I did effectively set that sort of thing up in the tutorial that I did for um, the oh here come the raiders oh multiple great okay oh, 
Damn it, give me Fritz. Finish these tarts. You guys are really enjoying the bots and the kill all humans. I dare say that will uh, entice chipsticks to come up with more horrible things to throw at me. Holy cow, they're all right here. And they're getting nailed by my turrets. I will just be a distraction. I will be the cat. I will go fill up my hydrogen bottle because I'm about to run out of hydrogen. Four down, at least. <laughs> Drop bears. Oh, man. I mean, there's... At least there's some, um... Graphical inspiration for drop bears on the, uh... Australian Museum website. Drop bears would be pretty funny. One pod was shot down. Was it? One pod was shot at. Was it actually shot down? I don't see a pod amongst everything. <laughs> okay. Right in the face. Wait. Oh, oh, oh! So close to dead. Oh. Yeah, Spartan, it is a good thing that these can't hack my base like an Imperial. Yeah, the, the rifle I'm using is not accurate. At all. Um, but it is the ammo that I'm provided by the bots, so I continue to use it. Plus, it provides me a convenient excuse for being terrible with my aim. hit the bot then. I think I just hit the container behind it. They don't have terrible aim, actually. Their aim deviation is tiny. Oh. Thanks, Chaotic Leader. Thank you for a year. Uh, I missed that a few minutes ago. And thank you, Willy Mammoth, for an hour ago that I missed. Whoops. Sorry. Thanks, William. Thank you for 26 months. Go, go. Let's play Foxhole. French warfare. Now, I'm gonna bet there's a bot in a hole somewhere. I'm gonna loot these ones before I. Yep, definitely a bot in a, in a hole. These bodies. I'm getting a moderate amount of magnesium from them. 
Rifle is basically a shotgun. Yeah. That's probably a good way to look at it, actually. You've got to get really up close and personal. Now, which hole has the bot? Ah. Two bots. This one, I need a grenade. I did empty the... Well, I think I emptied the rover storage this time. I thought I'd done it before. Dump off this stuff and I'll go check out that thing. And the other drop that you guys just dropped. What does a nice prize do? Uh, it gives me a little bit of something nice. Uh, it's not really balanced to this scenario yet, uh, but yeah, it's not anything mean. You can be sure of that at least. It'll be something like this, like a couple of hundred kilos of whoops. Of ice. A couple of hundred kilos of whoops. Don't know what that would be. Uh, yeah, they have unlimited ammo and they do have to reload. The bots, that is. I think it'll also be nice to make these smaller so there's less grinding needed to be done. I don't have a fancy grinder. There we go, a little bit of cobalt. Uh, and then there's one more container to collect. Stuff away. Though there are repairs needed to be done. No. Visible ones, anyway. That's taking some damage. That's taking some damage. And these ones. A little bit. I'm looking at ammo wise. Alright, I need more Gatling ammo. Hear loads of whoops. That's the nibble of poop, surely. Yeah, potentially. Uh, ammo. Yeah. Been very quiet on the drone front. I wonder if there's just so uh, what? something broken. I don't think there is anything broken, because I, I'm pretty sure we've still had bases spawn around the place. But I guess that's the other thing. I did clear out a lot of bases. Like, when I was getting harassed by lots and lots of drones, there were lots and lots of bases. There were three or four, and they were periodically sending drones in. So I might need to have a think about how I want to adapt that. Yeah, and chat have been choosing a lot of bots today, so that's why not many drones. I 
I will admit, I, I do find the bot fights a bit of fun though. And when they can when they spawn on me while I'm out mining or something like that, they're really quite. They're they're a genuine threat. Plus, they're much more likely to surprise me. That's the other thing. Because <laughs> they don't attack my grids unless I'm in them, they are a much greater surprise when you're mining and then you pop out of the hole and all of a sudden get shot at by a whole bunch of rifles. Uh, right. How am I going for resources mines? So I should have plenty of nickel now in the refinery. Yep. Cool. I think it's time for a programmable block. this actually. Uh grab some armor. Yeah, maybe something over here. I'll make a little computer room. A little server room set up. So that's gonna That'll be okay. Yeah, true, they don't have a HUD marker, which does make them hide a lot more effectively. Nice PB. Sorry. And I got. Now we wait for my scripts to load. Really quick. All right, he's his inventory manager. What things do I need to set up first? Um, I've all show fill level crew show fill bottles, automated container assignment. Uh oh. Press the A button and it took me to the bottom. False. Sign new containers. False. Uh, unassign empty containers. False. Auto crafting. Enable disassembling. Um, you know what? No, I'll leave that as false. I'll do that myself. And that should be all I need to set up from what I rem think I remember of stuff that I normally change. I think that's all I normally do. Um. Components, tools, bottles, and I need another large cargo container for ores and ingots. So I I have a personal um preference for Izzy's inventory manager because Izzy was writing it and um, actually adapted some of the early stuff with the inventory manager when I was playing my first Let's Play series um, and we chatted about various aspects of it at the time so I've, I've always got a soft spot for it because I've just been using it for that long
Uh, do you need another LCD or can you use the one in PB? I think... I think you can use the one on a block. Uh, but I tend to set up a separate one because I... Actually, I don't know if you can... I honestly don't know. I do wish there was some sort of vanilla way to do um, automated crafting to specific levels. Uh, it would be a very, very useful thing to add. Oh, why is production being weird? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's not a large container for tools and bottles, it's components, tools, and bottles. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now we're sorted. And the good thing about this is this should pull all of the ore and ice and stuff out of my mining vehicle every time I turn up, which is great, because I needed that. Thanks, Key. Thanks for 14 months. <laughs> yes, still here. Okay. I think it would be nice if I could set up some sort of fuel storage next and I want to set up some lighting independent some lighting that warns me when the fuel is low because uh, like how much ice do I have left none right okay I need to go mine some ice so what I'm thinking I will do is I'll set up some general lighting around here uh, that has um, like I'll set up my normal lighting and then I'll have an event controller that switches off the normal lighting and puts on emergency lighting whenever the fuel level gets below a certain point so that I know that I need to go out and get ice soon because I'm going to run out of power that's my thing I think in this instance, power-wise, because I'm so dependent on ice, that should work quite well. Uh, Elemental, there's something that I've... sort of... Uh, something that I feel is kind of important with the poles is for me to... not act on them too often. Like, as in, not avoid doing something because it'll be unsafe if I do it because of something that you guys might choose. Because that kind of defeats the fun of you guys getting to choose something that would be unsafe for me. I need to do my stuff regardless of what's happening with the poles, I think. As much as I can manage to. There Wolf. That's my take on it anyway. I wonder which sound block one that was. Because yeah, warheads are weapons. I think we decided last week I was going to set things up to be on thrusters, not weapons, and I forgot. Uh, to prevent that exact outcome.
we go. Uh, that was um certainly a way to deal with the. I think the cheeky drop is often the sound one, but it isn't just that. There are some other options. Yeah, all the fun music. Yeah. Yeah, just three loads with this miner and that's full, which makes sense because the drills hold as much as those cargo containers. But it feels like a very short mining trip when I'm doing ice. Doing ice mining. I guess at some point if I manage to feel like I've controlled the I have control of the surface, I will build solar panels, plus minus some wind turbines and the like on the surface so that I've got some constant power output and I'm not just relying on ice mining. Uh, but for now, I'm kind of happy with doing it this way. What's um what? Uh, find out. <laughs> find out. Yeah, Blamo data, data pad is probably one of the cheeky drops too. If I get some dedicated time where I feel like I've got a few hours to work on the integration mod, I might do a little stream on Discord or something for that. But we'll see. I've got I've got some big editing to do in the next uh, week or two, so I want to make sure I've got plenty of time set aside for the editing uh, for both the collector and for terraformers, because both have. A lot of footage going into their next episodes. Because the Collector's next episode might actually be the finale. See how the footage comes together. Got like... I think I've got about 12 hours of footage from the Collector at this point. It's ridiculous. Is he going to pull the rest of that across? No. Isis. Yes. Yes. Is he has pulled it all across. To... Got. Yeah. Nice. Cool. That certainly speeds up uploading. Uh, I'm not sure, Governor. I'm not sure. Uh, I've got plenty of nickel. The um, the next thing to get would probably be more magnesium, but I'm going to collect more ice for power because I want to do some building on the base. And it'd be nice to have some constant power production going while I'm doing that. I want to get some lights around the base. Like, I want to make the cavern so when I go inside, it feels actually quite... Pleasant and well lit. Even if in some instances people might see that as overlit. Yeah, I'd like to get I'd like to get that side of things, because I I really enjoyed that I managed to get the base to a state where it feels like it's my home. I started getting that process done last week. I want the cavern to feel like my home. I should probably try and set up if I I never it never seems to work out 
quite properly, running us running Izzy's on both like this grid and my base. But man, it'd be good if I could set it up so that it each time I dock with the flying ship, it just offloads everything it can as well. There is a mode for it. Um, but either TFE or myself set up something wrong, because when he had Izzy's running on the Marlin and I had it running on the Skywarp, it did not like both running. We were having conflicts frequently. Oh yeah, and for anyone wondering about the Collector, um, the details of the server and the GPS of where the collection is are actually available on my Discord. <laughs> they, they fight to see whose Izzy's is easier. No, not one more load. Let's get out of here quickly. That thing's got rockets. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please target other things, not me first. Slash get shot up by my turrets. That'd be great. Oh, something is causing sim speed drop. Almost rolling from the sudden increase in sim speed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the drones do not drop any ammo. So I can't claim their rockets. But maybe. Ooh. What do you guys think? Should I. Should I add rockets to the um to the loot from the drops so you guys can send me an ammo delivery i think dead or are my turrets out of ammo my turrets have taken out all those weapons You goodies. Uh, I'll take your thruster. Oh, it's so gonna smash me and Inventory squish me. Full. It's definitely gonna squish me. <laughs> Thrusters are more powerful than my jetpack. My resource rich enough for custom missile defenses. Um, you know what? I might be getting close. I might be getting close to that. yet yeah the it's pretty rare for the bots to actually drop any loot from their turrets or their weapons uh the the drones oh there's a thresh inbound uh guess i get my fighter out Now that's re... well, repaired. Uh, oh, actually. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, maybe not that much. I'm like, whoa, boom. There goes the friend. It's fresh out of the sky. Ooh. Hey, my turrets are working. But it appears my base turrets won anyway. <laughs> Whoa, no, what? It's flying still? There we go. Well, that was useful. That I, my fighter actually did a thing. <laughs> Most of the work had already been done, but it still did a thing. Uh, I will be back in just a quick second. I need to take a fire break. I'll be right back. Are you the only one who thinks of shooting games in arcades when you see that screen? Uh, no, Governor, you're not. Hey, Christy. <laughs> it's... It's certainly crossed my mind before. Alright. Uh... Let's start with fuel systems. I'll place down some fuel systems and then I can probably start trying to weld up a few of the walls around here and try and make this space feel a bit more like a home. Fuel tanks over here will be the way to go for now. I'm doing good. Your new compact bones are double jointed. Well, they're undoubtedly more flexible than the real Kabak. I'll tell you that much. That's probably as far out as I want that to go. Let's get some 
Uh, tanks, 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 tanks. Double pods. Um, all right, I haven't set up auto crafting. That was the thing I didn't set up. We got to set that up. Before I do this, um, do I try and deal with those guys first, or do I try and set up auto crafting first? No. I did a dump. Ah. Need to fill my bottle before I do these things. jetpack fuel was going to be enough to avoid the stairs, but nope. More bottles is meaningless when <laughs> I don't want to carry more than one bottle on me. And it doesn't take long to just put the bottle in and take it out. So I don't see any advantage in having more bottles. More turrets, sure. Miss Fox Hulk. The disturbing thing about these bots is that you probably you probably wouldn't take chipsticks long to make the cap uh, make it actually capax. So he made the Capac model. Capac uses. The bots are using rubber bullets. Yeah. They're very accurate, but each bullet doesn't hurt all that much. Ooh, this is a good foxhole. So when the bots get really close, they get hit by the turret. Mm. Handy. Come on, bots. Yeah, I think that's the friend drone that's um, hovering in the sky still. No. That is not quite as useful. Ow! my pain. Um, probably like a four. I don't know, what would you call a ten? Would you call a ten um, stepping on a Lego brick in the middle of the night? In the middle of winter? Ow, 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 ow,
Yeah. Now that's the raiders getting raided. Got me some silver. Kidney stone when you're hungover. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was trying to stay away from the legit things that people uh, report are 10 out of 10 pains. I need health kits health. added to the drops that you guys can give me so then I can actually use them in these fights because I have no way to access health kits. Um, and as we discussed earlier, rockets too, which I should add to the list. Add rockets to loot from drops. And then we can think about whether the rockets end up being too much or not. And then potentially add things like artillery. Although if I've got rockets in the drops, then I can convert those to artillery anyway. Probably easier for me to get the balance right with just one option to start off with. No! Oh. Dang corpse disappearing, making me do a cap hack. Shooting for no good reason. Thruster. Inventory full. Yeah, toe pains are always horrible pains. Because of the weird way our brains and spinal cord. I don't know why I said brains so weirdly then. Kind of fitting given that I said weird way that they do, but the weird way that our brains and spinal cord communicate. You do a thing. You know it's going to hurt. Your brain says, this is going to hurt. Don't worry too much about the pain signals that are incoming. Your foot says, ha ha. I will send the pain signals the slow way. And by the time the pain signals arrive, your brain's like, where's this pain from? What did I do? I don't remember this. I am not suppressing the signal. I'm going to let you feel the full brunt of it. That's the rough gist of why that ends up that way. Okay. Auto crop. I'll see. Do not want to fight. <laughs> we got it. it's under text panel, not LCD. Uh, those build panel. I think keeping the inventory LCD here makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Angle grinder, number wanted, zero. Automatic rifle, round, uh, magazine round, zero. Automatic rifle, zero. Bulletproof glass, I don't know. You use a fair bit when you're building with glass. I'm not expecting to build a lot with glass. We'll just go 200. Canvas, don't care. Computers. Construction components, 1,000. Detected components, 25. Displays, 100. Explosives. Actually, 32 is about right. Just in case I do decide to build some warheads. 
Uh, we'll go 400 of those, none of those, uh, 1,000 of those, 200 of those, medical components, clean, metal grids, we'll go 400, motors, 800, NATO magazines, the 25 mil ones, let's go 300 of those just so I keep a good supply. Power cells, I like to have enough for two large grid batteries. Radio communication components, only enough for a large antenna. Uh, those magazines, let's keep it down to 80. Let's keep one of those. Small steel tubes, go 600 or something. I am... I don't have an, a usual amount for these things. Uh, so I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. Okay. Uh, and I might actually turn on auto disassembling for a time. I normally keep it off, but I think I'll I think I'll turn it on. I won't be getting huge amounts of loot that way. Uh, and there is a lot of ammo to disassemble and reassemble into useful stuff, so it's probably worth it. Uh, okay. So in theory, shouldn't need to order anything up anymore. Practice, it's going to be slower waiting for those bits. So I guess... How's our ice doing? 28,000 left, plus what's in the generators. How are our batteries doing? Battery on the base. Stored power, 2.11 megawatt hours. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Battery on the rovers are almost up to 25%. Not bad. Things are going well. Man, I love having the build state coloreds. It this would be a shiny mess without it. Oh, it's doing disassembly. See, this is why I don't like the auto disassemble. But I'm just going to pretend that I don't see that. And I'm going to go out and mine some ice. And maybe... Um, something else. We'll see. Let's grab another load of ice. Because the power situation is looking good. And I'd like to keep it that way. And I'm obviously going to need to mine a lot of ice to try and fill the, those tanks. Oh yeah, Shadow told me about the way to hide stuff like the basic tools from the list so they don't show up there. And I've already forgotten what the thing was. I should probably do that. Oh yeah, and it can never disassemble certain things. But the reason that Izzy's is busy... Um, job. We'll stick with saying it that way. The reason that Izzy's is busy... Disassembling is because I do want it to disassemble the rifle mags that I pick up from the box. Good morning, TFE. Uh, so I might... Yeah, when I get back, I might look into how to change things so that they can be hidden once I've set them up. What the? No, 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 no. I'm really loving those Raider pods today. 
Ah! They're here! They're here! Alright, I'm just gonna fight them. Health critical. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you, lady. Got one. No, don't, don't you fight me. No, seven health. Run. <laughs> oh, that was close. Follow me up here. Oh, that's that that little dude close. Ah, yes, sniping with cinematic rifles, perfect. Playing musketman. Got it. Okay, two left. I think I'm gonna hit this guy. Still feels right to shoot at him randomly. Cover. Oh, don't think they've updated where they think I am. Andy Foxhole. Nope, there they are. Having the Raiders one shot things they hit would not be fun. That would just be pain. Oh, it. Great jumping doesn't help. Yeah, TFE, at some point, I probably should get your um, input slash insight into making my own custom robot raider pods for this. Because, yeah, it's it's all set at default. Uh, and there may be some upgrades that could be fun. Like, for example, I, I think I'd prefer it if the bots were less accurate, but did more damage per hit. I think I'd prefer that. Or at least I think it'd make the fights more interesting, because they'd be more likely to kill me if I do take a hit, but the hits that they get are going to be less often. Because at the moment they do very minimal damage, but they do it very consistently, which makes it much more predictable what's going to happen when I approach. 359 degree firing angle, so they sometimes fire backwards. Don't think me. I don't think that degree of random is what I'm after, but 
you're getting the idea. Oh, something else, TFE, while I'm remembering it. Um, was contemplating the idea of having something that could drop a warhead bomb on my base. So I might have a chat with you afterwards about <laughs> how that's feasible. So that it's possible that the drones could get through my rooftop in a single session if I don't take care of them. Because that will create more urgency in dealing with them and will allow me to do voxel resets without making myself safe perfectly. You think that's a pod up there? I thought that was the friend drone. Yeah, it's the friend drone. It's the one I got rid of the gyros on, so it's slowly drifting. No ammo. No ammo. No ammo. Is it remote? Inventory full. No. I mean, I don't mind leaving this up here as a distraction. No, I'm just going to leave it. Nearby. Lama. Can you have a drone that suicide crashes with the warhead? Um. Probably, but the challenge will be having something that hovers overhead and then drops a bomb down. Because I prefer something that was just going to drop directly on rather than something that was going to kind of angle itself in. Because if it angles itself in to try and do the drop, uh, like to be a bomb, uh, it'll hit me on the rover and things like that. And that's going to be very difficult to avoid. Uh, to the extent that I reckon there's be a decent chance that it'd just be a a game wipe moment. Uh, which is why I would avoid that. Don't, I don't think that'd be a great way to do it. And I, yeah. I feel like that would lose some fun of it. Whereas something that drops a bomb, like it hovers over its target and drops the bomb, if I'm moving, that's probably not going to hit me. Uh, but if it's over my base, it's probably going to drill its way down. Quite quickly. Uh, I don't need cargo space, so I kind of can't collect that. My personal and vehicle inventories are full. My grievers. <laughs> I think, for me, Reavers are a mod that I would only play with if I had shields. Um, 
there's there's too much there's too much damage that they do. In a more vanilla playthrough like I tend to do. When I say more vanilla, I mean like the core gameplay elements of vanilla. I don't tend to add like weapon mods and shields and whatever else. Um, yes, I have TFE. We had the AQD combat core in Wrong Way Up. Oh, same one. Lamo, you're dead. Definitely need one that actually is a warhead. Up there is the sensor. Yeah, one out of ten chance that this one actually has a warhead. More so, have it have a warhead after it's dropped out the the um data pads, so that I think it's the safe one, but it might not be. Uh, raccoons there's no real list of the mods I'm using because most of like a lot of the ones that are NPC based are actually private mods um, that are set up specifically for the twitch integration so have no merit being on the <laughs> workshop in general um, and are not something I want to provide support for uh, but the planet itself is on the workshop it's not mine it's called Theros have one that spits out gravel. There are ones that spit out ice and other nonsense. Uh, we just haven't seen. They don't have a lot of significance in this particular setting because of um, the roof. The roof means that we don't get to see what happens with them because there's not like just chunks raining down upon me like there were in the scrapyard scenario where it was landing on my roof and stuff like that and you heard the clanging of these drops and things falling down around me. Yeah, it's raining what drop? Yeah, the more I, the more I've been playing in this scenario, the more I know that I need to have different loot tables for different scenarios. Um, because the different scenarios definitely have different amounts of stuff that I have by default, so I need different amounts of stuff for it to feel significant. He'll play it first, would you? Um, no. The drops... Most of the drone ones are actually quite nasty. It's just you guys haven't been choosing them. Or they haven't been appearing in the random list. I'm not sure which. Yeah, but the drone ones are bad. Those drones... Do damage. Six more large steel. Good. Alright, I need to put a seat or something around here so that I can see how much fuel we've got.
helm. There's a helm. That can just look like regular controls. So it says 1% of hydrogen right now. Hmm. This is going to need to be a very low percentage for the alarm to go off. Use these enough to have learned what's in what, like where they are in the order. Epic absolutely loves them and seems to use only these as piping. Even when they're not the best option. So he might know. Great that upon landing would unfold to reveal an armed and active turret. Yeah, that would be evil. That, that could be an option. <laughs> but yeah, we've it was brought up earlier, the idea of making something equivalent to my old sandbag idea of um, basically a turret that drops on the ground that has minimal broadcast radius as a as a drop that could be added. I should add that to my list, actually, while I'm thinking of it. Uh, so... Sandbag style drop. Cool. Alright, now. Are the tanks gonna fill? Yeah, they are. Very slowly. I think I might have. I think I might have overreached putting two tanks down. I think I should have just had one. Getting enough ice to get even a couple of percent of fuel is going to be very difficult. up yet. No, because I need to have lights first. Means I need to s set up something of an interior around here. Yeah, something kind of like the sneaky turret in the shipping container in the hangar and scrapyard, I think. I think having some some mix of an actually effective turret and a not effective turret and having a few more things like that. Obviously the mods are very much in a state of evolution. Oh, that sponge bread is coming in. So, we'll have to see what I can manage over time and what I can manage to pull off and make work. And also figure out what might not work. Because there'll be plenty of stuff that I, I'll think is a great idea and then it just totally doesn't work. Or it might have worked earlier on in this scenario, but it doesn't work now because I've got more stuff or like different options. 
down the road. Raider pods. Maybe. There's one that's... Yep, there's one there. I'm above it. No, shoot the pod! Chase it, chase it, chase it! They're going to be able to go higher than I can. They're hydrogen powered. Oh, it got away. Right, next time, I'm going to try and remember to do that sooner. Uh oh. Please stop heading towards the ground so quickly. Thank you. Kill some drone. Uh, dudes. Robots. I think the ones in the holes are actually really hard for the turrets to hit. Feels like cheating, but they do normally shoot back at me. I don't know why they're not. They haven't updated their targeting yet? Oh man, that turret leading, that's such a waste of ammo. Uh, Jack's Lope, that's going to be a hard no for something like that. I, I am not going to add... I do not want something that just randomly turn, that allows the power to everything to just be shut off. That would be... Uh, no. Just no. Yeah, the robots shot at me as I left, but then they stopped shooting at me. Hi. Odd. Considering the complexity of these things and the number of them that were around, could have been anything then. They definitely can shoot at me in grids, and do. Thank you, Mavlite! Thank you so much for the tier 2 for 30 months. Ooh. Ooh! Undulate, that is an interesting idea. Have a jetpack blocking drop. Or a drill blocking drop, or a power sapping one. Huh. The jetpack nerfing one could be really interesting. Uh, health sapping I don't think would be interesting, because it would just be a case of I have to keep running outside until I kill the thing, and it would just get, I think, a bit boring pretty quickly. Um, but... Stopping me from using my jetpack so I have to fight on the ground or get in my fighter and fight that way. That that could really be interesting. Hmm. I like that idea. I'm gonna put that in. Uh jetpack inhibitor drop. Uh, energy sucking would be annoying, except that this is not... That, like, this planet is survivable without energy, I think. 
Sort of. Uh, but yeah, energy sucking would probably be awful. But jetpack inhibitor, 100%, that could work in an interesting way. Because I usually set up my bases so that you can navigate them with um, without a jetpack anyway. And it would encourage me to continue to do so. Uh, the cooldowns are something that I set, and the cooldowns are set. It's just the pole takes long enough that the cooldown is basically over by the time the pole is done. <laughs> this is the way I've got it set up. See a fire strike. Grinder welder inhibitor would also force you out. Is there a specific grinder or welder inhibitor? I thought that was just drill, power, and jetpack. Uh, sorry, drill, power, jetpack, and health. Oh, it has a grinder one as well? Grinder could be interesting. Maybe. Because I'd probably be able to ignore it for quite some time and then I'd place something wrong and be like, ah, oh, now I have to deal with that thing? Oh yeah, that's true. The anti-grinder one just hurts you when you grind the grid, doesn't it? It doesn't actually um, stop you from grinding. So yeah, that wouldn't work. But 100% the jetpack one. Because especially um, if some of the drop pods, like with the, especially if I make a raider pod of my own, and it comes with um, an, an inhibitor lock on it, so it hangs around while, so while I'm fighting the guys, I can't use a jetpack either. That could certainly add some interest. I like that idea. Um, I don't think I don't think there's a lot of yield to be had from modifying the drones. Uh, the, in the way they function now to have inhibitor blocks. Um, I think I'd want to make something intentionally designed around having an inhibitor block so that it's... the way I have to fight it would work. Because the drones at the moment I have to get in my fighter anyway, so they've effectively got inhibitors uh, that work quite well because I just get shot. Like a suit light inhibitor. Oh! I wonder if Nev could force me to turn off the suit light for a time. No suit lights. For, like, five minutes or something. You can be pedantic if you want, TFA. Yeah, I'll go to the surface for this raining what? Drop. Or it'll just get shut up. Fuel oh. Drop. Chunky. Uh. Oh. Shouldn't have turned around. I lost track of that. Wait. No, I think it was just scrap. I don't think it got to do its drop. Alright, I'll change the turrets to target thrusters. Let's just check inventories while I'm thinking of it. And we're down to just one turret having ammo. And I'm guessing this one is also the one that has given all this. Yep. Oh, 
repulsion. Some stairs at the other end. Oh! Jump inhibitor. I'm not allowed to jump anymore. And no, not jump drive, jump. I, I get what you mean. Just literally, player can't jump. I'll end up with enough ice accumulating over time once I get, um... Wait, wait, is it H that's... I wonder if I'll get enough over time with, um... Uh, ice over time to actually accumulate some fuel once the batteries are full. Oops, eh? Yeah, it is H that hides it. Nice. Build, build some stairs in here. I was those stairs there. Do I want? Yeah, I was going to still put some stairs here. Although I put that LCD in the way, so I probably can't. Um. Hey, this work. This on the end, otherwise these are going to have funny endings on them. This one. Uh, where is it? Build my not so pointless catwalks, assuming we do manage to have the ability for you guys to spawn in something that blocks me from using a um, thingo. Do blacky. What's it? Um, brain, function, please. Jetpack. Ah, word finding difficulties today, something fierce. Decide where I'm gonna put some lights around here. So the reason I'm adding these extra bits is because I just like to have this place feel like home. And I also thought if I start adding these catwalks, I'll get an idea of where I'm gonna put the roof. So then I have somewhere to put the lights. So then I can put the warning lights for when the fuel runs low, so I've got something to actually set that um, event controller up to do. There is no ability for MES stuff to fire meteors, but the Twitch integration can do that. Uh, I have intentionally turned that off. But I guess it could be turned back on. Um, 
if I get to a point where I'm doing regular resets to all the voxels. If I'm doing that anyway, then there's no reason I can't have meteors running for that week. And then, you know, I clear up all the damage and it's back to square one, the start of each stream sort of thing. I don't know, I, I think you'd want to leave the um, leave the minimal ores on. Be a way for me to get a little bit of platinum, a little bit of uranium, some other bits and pieces. Be a reason to hang around or go back to the surface some more. Ah uh, yes, it would fill in the area of the base I've dug out since I started, 100%. So what I would probably do, um, especially if I end up expanding the base to needing more cavern, is reset the voxels, load up the game, um, and then dig out with voxel hands the parts that are needed for the base, save that as the new file that I replace with, and then go from there. And then each week I just replace with the same one. So I can expand the cave network over time, it just requires a couple of extra steps. Honestly, Edric, the, I vetoed the idea of power outages, full stop, for anything that I do. I just... I can't see a situation where that does anything but just annoy me. I just feel like that would be so irritating. Like, lightning... lightning behavior level irritating. I think you all know how much I hate lightning. <laughs> Which is actually something I was thinking about um, yesterday when I was uh, working on some... working on the new tutorial script. Is how to say to new players, disable this thing because it's terrible. Without having to go into the full explanation of why. Thanks, Shane. Thank you for Prime Sub. So, that's going to be a fun thing to figure out. the game literally has a min-max timer for how often the player should be struck by lightning. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, Willie Ken. I figure my tutorial series is nearing five years old, so... Uh, I mentioned this earlier during the stream. I, um, I am planning on remaking it. From scratch. And I'm going to do it much the same as I did before. Something as a, um... Sort of a combination tutorial Let's Play-ish thing where I'm actually doing the things as I go along. Uh, so... We're going to see if I can make it work better this time where it could actually be something I play on with later on. Like once I've and just keep tutorializing as I go with different concepts. And see how that works. Not convinced I'll be able to make it work, but I'm going to try. welders in for this thing. And 
hopefully by the time I've gotten some decent progress done on the Space Engineers tutorials, uh, Stationeers will be at a point where I can consider redoing those too. Because those are actually not accurate anymore. Space Engineers ones still are, but the Stationeers ones not so much. And then I can look at some other games as well. So I kind of, I quite enjoy trying to learn a game in a way that I can then teach it. That'll give me more inspiration to play some more things. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy how many people have watched those early tutorials. The um the part one has two and a half million views on it. Just in ridiculous. Stationers is much like Space Engineers in that it can look really technical until you understand what you're doing. Station Ears is obviously more technical in that you need to understand some chemistry and things like that. Uh, but it is still quite... I think still quite learnable for everybody. Um, TFE can probably give some insight on that because he's played from knowing nothing and then playing with a group of people which is always a challenging environment to learn in. Can. I'm pretty sure that would have been the very first uh, uh, tutorial I would have mentioned about the drill being an ore detector. I think. Hey Nev, how's it going? Uh, something I will bring up to mention. Um, thinking about the idea of having the Twitch integration disables suit lights. Do you think that's feasible? Because it could be it could be funny for a few minutes. Oh, I was thinking like disable for five minutes or something. Might need the client mod part we talked about ages ago, but probably. Okay. Oh, I hope Aizen hears this. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Aizen did most of the uh, behind the scenes work in Scavenge Hunt with TFE doing a lot of the modding. Um, it'd be the anti-Eisen component of the mod. Because <laughs> he always gives me grief about how much time I spend with lighting in um, ACS builds. And where's door? door on my hotbar already. This is where I end up adding things multiple times. Oh yeah, I was meaning to add another spotlight up here. I'll do that now. I'm thinking of lighting. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, I reckon just two there like that'll be fine. Yeah. The base is going to come together. We'll keep working on it like this. 
the bulletproof glass should have been on autocraft, but I, because I thought I set it to be like 200 pieces. Yeah, it's right at the top. It's waiting for something though. It's not even queued. Weird. The only really hard part of station is is not getting stuck in a death loop at this very start. Yeah. Station is much harder in single player. Uh Yes and no. <laughs> Fewer distractions. Um more possibility to get in a spot where there's absolutely nothing to do but respawn. Uh, because no one can come save you. But I, I do enjoy Station Ears, which is partially going to be contributed to by the fact that I actually, um, I quite like chemistry. I did quite a lot of chemistry at uni. Um, didn't do it in high school, but I did do a fair bit at university. Thanks, Governor. Thank you for the two gift subs. Seems like more programming than chemistry. Um, the things you're programming are to deal with chemistry. <laughs> So if you don't understand the chemistry, it's really hard to know what you're trying to do. Eh, phase change could be chemistry, could be physics. It's both. They don't really have very clear delineations. It's all just labels anyway. It's all just math anyway. Exactly, Nev. Exactly. Or, as I would say, maths. So I am from a country that pluralizes it. As you as you don't say mathematic. Um. But then similarly, when you usually shorten things, do you normally keep the pluralized suffix? Who knows? Yeah, mathematics. Oh, I wonder if this is going to end up with me getting even more recommendations of um, maths-related videos on YouTube. Clicked on one. Now I'm just getting all of them. Although, I will say... It did make me grateful for that sort of resource being around. Thinking of just how hard it's going to be to try and um, keep up with Toby when he gets to an age where he needs to learn this sort of stuff and I want to be able to help him out if he's struggling. Phoenix Litter. KSP does a very good job of making the trial and error side of things fun. Um, <clears throat> I think the way I play Station is is still trial and error. It's just knowing... What was that? Whatever it was... It... Oh, I know what that was. I know what that was. I really need to remove that from the uh, thing. Data pad spam! Toby is nine months old, so it's going to be a while before I have to think about teaching him any mathematics that I can't just do off the cuff.
No, I have not adjusted the amount of data pads. Yeah. Fix data pad spam drop. Ah, uh, <laughs> the joys of teaching your kids things the wrong way according to the way they're taught now. Yeah, my siblings have that. Teaching their kids. My nieces and nephews. I'll have a niece and a nephew in high school as of this year. One of my nephews actually worked with my videos from time to time apparently. I wonder if he watches these ones. I don't think he does watch the stuff on this channel. But if you're listening, hey Jono, how's it going? Nine months and he doesn't know how to solve an integral yet? How will he achieve anything in life? Exactly. Okay. I have welded the floor. The most unfun task. But needed. I'm also going to have to decide on some sort of consistent paint job around here, which I have not decided at the point yet. Um, I probably forgot how to fully solve integrals, so easy to begin. I did know that at one stage, and it was a long time ago. And I forgot it by the time I finished high school. Uh, because I went from a harder maths class to an easier one when I went from year 11 to year 12. Because <laughs> so I was like, eh, I am not doing well at this. I am going to stop. Alright, what do I want to do for a roof? Maybe I'll do the walls and roof in here first and then decide. Might make it easier. Low. I really enjoy teaching though, so like I'm quite happy to put time in to figure out why someone can't understand something and then see if I can work from that point forward to them understanding it, whether it's the correct way for them to learn it or not. And one of my jobs is teaching, too. Actually, two of my jobs, depending on how many tutorials I'm actually doing. Uh-oh. There is a fidget. That's very close to the fighter. The fightless. Out we go. Fidget, are you shooting the other drone? What are you doing? Hopefully you're dying. That's hopefully what you're doing. Definitely getting some hits. Boom! So it's really nice when my fightless fighter actually shoots. Thanks, Lazy Jet. Shooting at? Is there a... Is there a robot? Nope. Shouldn't have dropped. No. Uh, fightless turrets. Wait, I've got this on my hopper. Shooting at random nonsense. And now it's shooting too much. It just can't shoot just right. It needs to Goldilocks. Oh, my group doesn't cover all turrets, does it? 
It's true. There we go. I replaced them. Not using a projector. Wow, there is not enough light in this place. Okay. Um, I'm going to weld this up first, though. I'm going to slingshot to launch your fighter through the tunnel. If only it was low gravity. It's a grab gen slingshot like I did on the moon with Kanajashi. Nice high ceiling on the rover hangar, which means that I don't have my third person camera getting messed up as I drive in. I think I want some lights on the walls though. Do I want to put... Yeah, I'll put some corner lights up on the walls. I need to expand the range of the other one that I've got out there. The one that's inside. I could use the inset lights, I just didn't want to. Yeah, I don't think the armoured roof is really going to do much against the drone that's managing to get through with rockets. It'll take one rocket and then it'll be gone. Uh, the armoured roof is just... It's really to get a power source up to there. So I can put lights up there. I don't think there's any other <laughs> genuine purpose behind it. The rest of it is just style. There's something I've been liking doing recently. It's messing with the fall off of these lights and dropping it down a fair way. And pushing up the radius. And since we're underground in a slightly rough circumstance, we'll do this. I think the fall, the decrease, the decrease in the fall off, just makes the light blend out more smoothly, uh, which I think feels better in a lot of environments, especially rough, uh, looking ones like this. Always with the magical photons that can be told to only travel a certain distance. Yep. Side and set it the same settings. To yeah, I'll add some more on this side, of this other side as well. A few people in the YouTube comments will be very happy that I've finally done this. I haven't set up low fuel lights yet, no. My idea was that I would set up the regular lighting and then add in some low low fuel lighting after that. Trouble is, right now, I'm already low fuel. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That's an issue. Happy with the hangar lighting, though. Yeah. 
been working on lighting in Arc Survival Ascended modding today and the realistic ray trace lighting doesn't let me do such cheats anymore so it's hard. <laughs> hey we got drama music! And dangling leg shadows. Yeah I might put a couple on the back of the hangar. Uh, one, yeah. Another one on there because I've got the conveyor cut. Uh, yeah, okay. Just to keep the symmetry going. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this. Uh, what to do with this back wall? I don't know. Do not know. Oh. My engines are off. Okay, ice time. Hydrogen left. I'm gonna have to deal with that music. That is gonna. That's gonna. I think that's gonna end up grating on me a similar amount to the fun music. A small observation room on the back wall. Yeah, I think that's a decent call. And use interior walls. Yeah, I probably should use some interior walls in there to add some depth and variation. Bases aren't visible that you guys have spawned because I know you've spawned at least one base in today. I wonder where it's ended up that it's not visible. Or if I've got so much junk on the ground that they can't find a valid spawn location. Uh, the bases will spawn drones, but only if they're within six kilometers of me. Um, I did that because it increases the risk of the drones crashing the further away they spawn from you. And also, at the time I did it, I was imagining using rovers most of this playthrough. Um, so traversing 15Ks to try and take out a base was going to be a very iffy prospect. still hear that sound from here. Ah, oh, the drums. Also wondering if there's a large ice lake somewhere on this planet. Is it very loud for you guys? You can get like 30 minus 30. Coming? See another thing? Fine. What possibly go wrong? A raider drop on. Oh, he's that close. What the? Oh, there it is. No wonder I could hear it. Yeah, we'll do a clean up between this week and next week. 
for this. I think I think a cleanup is overdue. I have a lot of junk on the surface. First up, let's stop the music and get the warhead. Peace. No, chat hasn't managed to trigger a single double or triple today Nev I think they've been trying but I think because they've been trying it's made it even harder Cover here. All right, charge! Go to the trees. Suppressing fire. It's not working. Ow! One down. And <laughs> 21 health. Yeek. Nope. Yeah, we've we've talked about the med kit thing. I need to add them to the uh to the loot possibilities. a lot closer. Go back using your jetpack. Stuff off, get rid of the tools I don't need. Weapons. And 
Fill up my hydrogen. And my health. All my health in a dream. Yep. Have I somehow ended up with Capax chat in chat today? You guys are awfully bloodthirsty. Need a missile strike? New year, new rage. <laughs> You're normally such a lovely bunch. Gone mad with Bow. Yeah, it could be that. Yes, a lovely bunch of coconuts. Exactly what I was gonna get. there's another way I can go about getting the ice or go about getting power uh, that's not super vulnerable to all these nasties that keep coming in. Because everything that I can think of is surface based and that doesn't work here. Surface based is bad. Wind is surface based. Any, um, if I manage to find a large ice lake, that's surface based. Although that could potentially be underground. Ooh, you could have a cheeky tunnel entrance to, and dig out the ice from underneath. Maybe I should do some scouting. See if there is an ice lake. Yeah, the underground wind turbines thing, I did take advantage of it at the beginning because I felt like it was the only really viable option I had. Uh, but now that I've got this as a technically viable option, it feels a bit cheap. Christ, jeez. Yeah, I'll see if there is a large ice lake that I can spot. Pollution to power problem, hamsters. So, yeah, I never did get Capac to stay in the treadmill long enough to produce power when we had the treadmill um, mod in Survival Unlikely. So there is a mod out there that allows you to produce power from um, engineers standing in it. That's full. Let's see what else. Okay. Yeah, there's not much point going back for an extra trip. Three trips is about as efficient as I can get. An assault reactor really wouldn't do much with me. I mean, unless people bring up, you know, No Man's Sky, <laughs> or, um, No Man's Sky. some weird game design choices that some people have made. I don't... I make a conscious effort not to be salty about things. Um, as well as just by default not really getting that salty about a lot of things. I have learned over the years that while some people when they're upset, it's hilarious. <clears throat> there are a few of them 
who I'm friends with because I find it very funny when they're uh, angry and I I don't usually get drawn into their anger I just start laughing at how ridiculous it all is uh, I am not one of those people so I just try and avoid it <laughs> altogether because I think it's the best option for me And it keeps me happier too, so yeah, extra reason to avoid it. Oh yeah. I mean honestly I also often would laugh at Wasted's rage. <laughs> or just be like, seriously? It's not that bad. I don't get it. I just prefer being happy. And I don't have a lot of reasons to be angry about things. I bet if No Man's Sky had spreadsheets, you'd be all kinds of into it. No. No. I do wonder if I'd gotten into it before I started. Did you guys just drop a... um? It's raining something? Or was that a different explosion? Oh. Could make the delay on the it's raining ones long enough that they could be tunneling and so I have to pay more attention. No, that'd be bad. That would not be good. It's a flare to mark what we're dropping, yeah. And for the Underground series, I should probably turn off the um, It's Raining What, because it doesn't really work in this setting. It's really only worth being triggered if I'm out and about. Like, if I was mining and suddenly stuff starts raining down in the hole that I'm mining in, then yes, that would get a reaction. Uh, when I'm underground, it doesn't really work. Um, yeah, at least at the time, for the time being, I'd say so, yeah, Perseus. I haven't had any inklings of Wasted being interested in SE for some months, at least. Actually, I'm gonna beat that. Uh, no, I might be able to break something up. Let's go one of these doors. And I'll put a catwalk up at this level too. I think you guys got a base then. That one worked. Also, there's a fidget out there? What? Where's the fidget come from? But yeah, there is another base out there now. That is close enough it will send drones at me, so I'll have to deal with that at some point. Point oh, is not now, though. I'm busy. I'm designing. I'll run this the whole way along. I was thinking whether I'd end it there, but I think I'll run the whole way along the side. This is a good way to break up 
this level, I think. Never remember which level I'm at. No longer have meat shields, time to save up some. Yeah. It's almost like I planned it so people would use some up on these streams. Totally didn't do that on purpose. No, no, uh, no, no. Uh. I figured, like, yes, I 100% planned this so that people would use up their channel points on things. Because I wanted to give an actual reason for having them so that there was something fun to do with them. And honestly, this is probably one of the most fun ways to use them, I reckon. Saving your mate shields for a lasso. Yeah, I wonder if, um... Hmm. I wonder if we have to move the... The goalposts on that one. New year, new cost. Sinner and Capac hasn't done any of his yet. Uh, the lasso reward is like a brief personalized video. Yeah, totally inflation. Not like the inflation worries you though, Shadow. <laughs> Even if you have the points, I cannot see you <laughs> being worried about <laughs> but wanting to get that as a reward. It doesn't make sense. Exactly why you why you want it. Okay, fair. Because it's ridiculous. It just seems odd to me to have someone who I play games with regularly wanting a personalized video. All right. Uh, where can I stick some lights to help with this bit? These ones might actually need to be. Inset lights. Which actually look kind of cool. Putting them on there. Yeah. Going from too few lights to too many and not spread out enough. That's fair, KB. Because <laughs> we've already... You've also been involved in enough of the sessions. Down to 13k made a bad bet the other stream. Ah, oh dear. The prediction's going wrong. Always a problem. Always a risk. Okay, that is very... Probably overlit. Ah, that's probably too many lights. Let's get rid of the Energy one. low. There to be some spots of darkness. I think that'll work. Yeah, 
Insert lights take a lot of stuff. They're actually... I think they'd be slightly stronger than an interior wall block. Be my guess. Not knowing the conversion rate between interior plate and constructed components and steel plate and stuff. Yep, the rover engines are running on purpose because I want all of the engines running to produce as much power as possible so that my batteries get charged. Because uh, the engines are my only power source. Alright. Let's go take out that mess. Whoa, what the? Why did my jetpack suddenly turn on? That's weird. Taking out a base, I need more ammo. I've got two bases, one that is in range, and I'm going to take out the ones in range. Or try to, anyway. running engines in a cave I'm sure you won't suffocate not with that wind force both statements potentially true okay so there'll be a drone when I get close and unfortunately this thing is quite high altitude where this base is located I think um I'm going to have trouble getting high enough, which means I should have redesigned this fighter. You can't highlight MWG? I know there are countries where you can't vote, where you can't do predictions. Um, that, that sounds like a reset the app or refresh the page sort of issue. That also looks like a decent chunk of ice down there. And wow, lots over that way. Okay. Oh, incoming fire. Getting distracted by sightseeing. Whoa! What did that hit? He's up, close. Oh, I'm down a turret. And the drone is down. Oh, uh, yes. Quite a dramatic world seam. I did pick my location carefully to avoid being too close to any of the world seams. Because this planet has pretty bad world seams. Oh, no, no. Mixed. Mixed is not helpful. Okay, the wrong weapons. Good. I should probably set them to power source. to drop pod what oh Ooh. hold up Hang on. Uh, oh <laughs> the robots can do my work for me I have to turn on the turrets so that I can control them
it's going to shoot back. Nope, they're just going to get nailed. Interesting. Oh, I think that's the top of the rotor. Which means the um, remote control that can call in help is dead. Let's make sure that is the top of the rotor. I do intend to uh, add some extra bases to this. I just haven't got around. That is definitely the top of the rotor because it's spinning. Cool. Base neutralized. And a new base spawned. Um, I'm just going to go check out this ice lake area. Hey, Lucian. Welcome, Raiders. I think this is a lot of ice out here. Which makes me think, um, I need a second base and a way to have some drones delivering hydrogen to my base, to my underground base. I don't think any of the pods got shut down, no. Because this looks like I could set up a drill rig on it. I'll obviously have to design something that I can move out here that's already got adequate defenses to withstand being out here and mining while getting attacked by you guys. <laughs> but at least that's an aspirational goal. There's a solid ice lake. Cool. Alright, there is a way I can get much more ice and hydrogen. Um, do I need to GPS it? I guess I could. Okay. Uh, it's still just the same two bases. I only got one extra out of this. Took down one, called in one. Life is in balance. Yeah, it, yes. It, I think it is intended to be a swamp. Yes, a frozen swamp. Huh. Well... I feel like that's a good point to wrap things up for this week. I will be back with all the usual streams next week. Uh, Monday morning, starting with some RVs at war with Shadow, more space engineers. Uh, followed by Icarus with Capac and TFB. And then more of this next Friday, hopefully with some modding in between to give you guys some more fun and things to do. Uh... And there'll be more of the more of terraformers this weekend on Sunday, uh, and probably the finale of the collector the week after is my guess. So yeah, there's all that, and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye. <laughs>